Hi, I'm Yusuf. After roughing and finishing the slots, now we will drill the holes. Let's measure the diameter. First, 20, 20. We can drill them with the same tool. Great operation, hole making, drill. 20 drill we just choose the holes and the axis is created automatically and we choose the hole in the uh, 120 degree hole we click OK and we click generate As you can see, it makes a simultaneous 5-axis move here. It, this, uh, this move can't be made in a 4-axis machine. So, we will change it to 4-axis move. Cylinder. I choose the vector. And I define a radius. I created a clearance geometry, not a clearance plane. I click OK and click generate. Now the move is done according to four axis machine. Uh, it makes it uh, creates the tool pads, but not every uh, machine actually can do it. Uh, German or Japanese machines can make it, but uh, actually I don't want to say it. But in uh, unquality machines, uh, the uh, actual rotary tables can't make this move, this red move. Uh, it makes very jerk move and uh, the rotor table uh, can't move very slightly. So you first you uh, you can make it uh, try a simple try and can see it. Okay. Uh, these holes have tabs on it, so we make a pilot drill. Click OK, click Generate. And if you don't want to, uh, if you don't want air moves, you can choose it and click Generate. I didn't show, but you can make a, a deep move. And you will have this move. We will make tapping. Click OK. I click Generate and Toolpad isn't created. I deactivate these options and I can get the toolpads. OK, we made the uh, drills. It's all for this video. We will make the finishing of the formed faces in other video. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, please ask on comments. If you like, please press the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe.